solve for x. Given that, the cubic equation has a repeated root, and x equals 1 is a solution. a and b are real numbers. We label the given equation as equation 1. Because x equals 1 is a solution. So, substitute x equals 1 into equation 1, we have, 1 plus 2b, minus a squared, minus b squared, equals 0. Rearrange the equation, we have, a squared equals 1 plus 2b, minus b squared. Then substitute a squared into equation 1, we have, x cubed, plus 2bx squared, minus 1 plus 2b, minus b squared times x, minus b squared, equals 0. Because we are given that, x equals 1 is a solution, so the left hand side of the equation, must have a factor, x minus 1. Next, we will factor the left hand side of the equation. x cubed, minus 2bx squared can be written as, x cubed, minus x squared, plus 2b plus 1, times x squared. And negative 1 plus 2b, minus b squared times x, can be written as, negative 1 plus 2b times x, plus b squared times x. Then minus b squared, equals 0. x cubed minus x squared have a common factor, x squared. So, they can be factored as, x squared times x minus 1. 2b plus 1, times x squared, and negative 1 plus 2b times x, have a common factor, 2b plus 1 times x. So they can be factored as, 2b plus 1 times x, times x minus 1. b squared times x, and negative b squared, has a common factor b squared. So they can be factored as, b squared times x minus 1. Now, the three terms on the left hand side of the equation, have a common factor, x minus 1. So, they can be factored as, x minus 1, times x squared, plus 2b plus 1 times x, plus b squared. We are given that, the cubic equation has a repeated root. If we assume that, x equals 1 is a repeated root. Then, x equals 1, must also be a root of, the quadratic factor. Then, substitute x equals 1, into the quadratic factor, we have, 1 plus 2b, plus 1, plus b squared, equals 0. 2b plus 1, plus b squared, equals b plus 1 all squared. So, we have, b plus 1 all squared, plus 1, equals 0. This is impossible, because b is a real number. Thus, x equals 1, cannot be a repeated root. This implies that, the quadratic equation, x squared, plus 2b plus 1 times x, plus b squared, equals 0, must have a repeated root. Thus, the discriminant of the quadratic equation, must be equal to 0. The discriminate delta, equals 2b plus 1 all squared, minus 4b squared. Let it equal 0. We have, 4b plus 1 equals 0. So, b equals negative 1 over 4. The repeated root x equals, negative 2b plus 1, over 2. Which is equal to, negative 2 times negative 1 over 4, plus 1, over 2. Which is equal to, negative 1 over 4. So, the given equation has three real roots. 1 and negative 1 over 4, twice.